Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As we spring clean toxic relationships out of Ooh. our lives, it is important that we don't burn the wrong bridges. I used a whole accent there. <laughs> Along the way, here to help navigate healthy and productive closures, please welcome America's marriage coach and relationship expert, Dr. Jackie Del Rosario. Yay! How are you? Just looking beautiful. Yes, Thank you. All down sunshine. there. You bought some sunshine. Yes, yes. ma'am. Love it. Dr. Jackie Chow. <laughs> If you know that a relationship is coming down to the end, okay then, how do you deal with the unresolved baggage? How do you move forward? Or, I mean, or is it even worth it to, to try to go back and, and try to fix and pace? Should you move forward? Like, when you know the end is coming. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a lot of ladies out here that know the end is here and they don't do nothing about it. Well, see, that's the problem. A lot of times we don't read the relationship cues, right? Mm -hmm. So we've missed that writing on the wall. And there's always a cue. writing mm -hmm. on the wall. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sometimes we've misread it or we didn't read it at all, you know, mm. that that you requires yeah. Yeah. So you want to be blind because mm -hmm. you don't want to get any bad news so that denial is more than a river in Egypt right yes. oh. so I think that those are some of the beginnings but here's the thing relationships make the world go around mm -hmm. so it's really important that we learn to preserve them mm -hmm. and that we understand that they are just a segment of our journey and so I think making sure that we're able to resolve issues and not burn up every bridge that mm -hmm. we're tired of crossing over yeah. it could be important. Yeah, mm. and how important, you know, I've owned up to a lot of my faults. I'm mm -hmm. very transparent here on the show about apologizing to my children and talking about, you know, the things that I've done wrong. Mm. Um, how, how, how important is that for me to reflect on things that I feel like I can be better at? Well, see, reflection is really important. Sometimes we don't do enough of it because that's how we learn and that's how we also master our relationship skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it, you know, you go through the day and sometimes I spend time just reflecting on my day. How often do we reflect on our relationships, you know interactions with one another? I don't huh. even reflect on my day. But I'm going to have to go back and do that. Listen, you got to find your time. It yeah, can be, for me, it's in that bathroom. I don't know what it is about my bathroom, but whenever <laughs> I'm in it, it's like the heavens roll back and I hear God. Yeah, I'm yeah. able to just, I just review my day. It just kind of scrolls back in my mind and I figure out things that, you know, that I missed, mm -hmm. things that I might have kind of wanted to edit and mm -hmm. in the future say I'm not going to respond that way I'm going to do this or that mm -hmm. so I don't care if it's a professional relationship a romantic relationship mm. as you learn to reflect and to uh, better uh, reform your behaviors you become a better lover yeah. Yeah. a yeah, better that's... employee mm. a better yeah. friend mm. yeah. but you just that self-reflection is everything it yeah. is yes. Yes. yes that's good and isn't it funny you know I like to grow on my own versus you having to make me grow yeah I don't oh, like yeah. all that mm. yeah. let me let me do me yeah <laughs> Me. You know I need mean? to fertilize. I'm yeah, good. I'm good. I'm good. You know? I, can, I know my faults. Yeah. yeah. But well, you know what it is. Most people want to tell you. They want to get you told instead of starting on the inside. Don't they so one of the first told. things that I want to say is that we need to first, first of all figure out what is our role in the relationship demise. Ooh, you know, what is our responsibility? What demise. did we do wrong? What could we have done better? Mm -hmm. You know, you're just dropping all these nuggets. I can't even get to my question. But the thing is, <laughs> so there, there are situations in our lives we know mm -hmm. someone is just not good for us. Mm -hmm. We know they're toxic and we know that sometimes you still have to be around them. Mm -hmm. So what are some great closure tips okay. for a person that we know that you want to, so we have to excavate. There you go. So the first <laughs> thing is you want to be able to have a sit down with them. Please let's not text mm -hmm. ah. or write yeah. an actual letter to them. Yes. And you want to begin with, first of all, what was my role in the relationship? What mm -hmm. did I do wrong? And I think that when you do that, you know, the person's defenses are going to come down and they're going to actually be able to hear mm -hmm. what you want to share yes. with them. Yes. And then number two, you're going to want to invite them to share their feelings about the relationship. Yeah. So awesome, awesome. Those are those are really two really good ones to get you started. Yeah. And then lastly, I think that you really want to see if you can um, uh, st steer clear of melting down in that conversation because a mm -hmm. lot of times our body language will, will change once they start sharing their perspective right. <laughs> or your tone might get a little awry right. and mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you don't do that so that they feel heard Hold and that job. you can kind of move yeah because that's me like if I, I'm, I'm a very sensitive person and I'm like I know what I'm gonna say when I get yeah. in there yeah. and then and then I'm gonna say this, mm -hmm. this is my bullet mm -hmm. points and then I'm like man you right though <laughs> and then I just lose and I don't like that <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but sometimes in idea. losing you win Hello, because girl. the really important thing is that you were able to resolve the issue and you didn't burn that bridge. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah. Speaking of bridges, mm -hmm. I have been known to put some kerosene to a bridge. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not a 
stranger to a match, Dr. Mm -hmm. Jackie. Mm -hmm. When do you know <laughs> it is time to act, that it is okay for you to really be like, I have to cut this person completely off. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the circumstance where that is necessary? Healthy? Yes. So you want to do that if it's a toxic relationship, meaning that it is not good for you. There's maltreatment or there's some form of abuse. Mm -hmm. But really, I want you to start with this. Relationships that are ending are not an indication that there's anything wrong with you or the, even that person. Mm -hmm. It just means that you're no longer meant to travel on that path together. together. Yes. yes. Mm. You like that, don't you? Yeah. That's a message. Medicinal. It is. <laughs> you know, you don't like it. Just set you a couple people that. free. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but, after, but okay, let's say you set them free. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are there any circumstances, are there any circumstances mm -hmm. to which you should invite that person back into your life? Absolutely. Well, what's you know, a healthy way of doing that? There, then? There's a lot of people that told Drake off mm -hmm. yes, before he came into his glory. Mm -hmm. And now they wish they would have kept their mouth shut. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of relationships that there's new paths every day. Mm -hmm. So what was wrong yesterday might be okay today. Right. And there might be new places of synergy for you in those relationships. So that's why you want to stay away from the kerosene and the match. <laughs> you want to stay away from the kerosene and the match. Oh and my goodness. Lot of, lot of, lot of oh, that's good, that's, that's good. Okay, okay, I think we good, are we set? I have like another, I go ahead, one, go one, go one, one time. Just quick, quick little something. So what is it, cause I'm gonna bump off of you, Rashawn. Go ahead. So how is it that you can actually really reach a resolve when you already know there's something that you wanna say in that relationship or, mm -hmm. or during that conversation? Because you can't really hear them because you're mm -hmm. busy waiting on your response. Exactly. You're waiting to get what you have to say, hey, so how do you do that? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> like, listen. but when you're really genuine, genuinely <laughs> sorry about and owning up to your own faults, mm -hmm. I think that there, that opens up a sense of empathy for that person. Most of us are doing the best we can mm -hmm. with where we are in our relationships. Yeah. And so there, there needs to be some room for forgiveness because none of us have it perfect. How about that? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. nice. You gotta forgive, man. Yeah. And you can invite people back in. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, no. Thank I you so much. Yeah. Hold on to my kerosene. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Jackie. I just want to use the mat. Right. Yeah, I see that. Make sure to follow her at Ask Dr. Jackie on Instagram and visit drjackie.com.